Hey finance fans, today we're looking into the crystal ball to see what the future of finance holds. We have 7 significant trends to share with you that will shake things up in the coming years. Well, you've come to the right place. Today we'll be discussing 7 significant finance trends that are expected to make an impact in the years 2023 to 2026. The world of finance is constantly evolving, and staying ahead of the curve is important for success. Whether you're an investor, entrepreneur, or simply looking to manage your finances, you must know the latest trends that could affect your bottom line. So please sit back, relax, and dive into the exciting world of finance trends. Number 1. The financial services industry embraces blockchain. Have you heard of blockchain technology? It was always associated with cryptocurrency for the longest time, but now experts believe it will be more integrated into existing financial systems. Who knew, right? Using blockchain could help banks conduct transactions more efficiently and cheaply, all while maintaining a tight level of security. It could also help with peer-to-peer -peer lending, an industry worth up to $150 billion by 2025. That's a lot of dough. And believe it or not, more and more banks are moving towards cloud-based banking this year. Blockchain is sure to play a role in this transition too. Banks like HSBC and Wells Fargo already use blockchain technology to settle Forex trades. But it's not just banks that are incorporating blockchain. Even insurance companies like AXA are getting in on the action. They use blockchain technology to ensure their clients against flight delays. And Ethereum blockchain connects both the insurance contract and air traffic data. So the system automatically triggers an insurance payout when a flight is delayed for more than two hours. Talk about convenience. Blockchain technology is making waves in the financial world. Who knows where it will go next? Number 2. More people download personal finance apps. Who knew a pandemic would make personal finance apps as popular as TikTok dance challenges? Downloads grew by a whopping 90%. It's like everyone decided to take control of their finances while they were stuck at home binge-watching Netflix. And it's not just about managing money remotely. People love having the power to control possession of, very much, all of their money in the palm of their hand. There will be no more bank wait times. Or dealing with grumpy tellers. Just tap, swipe, and voila! These apps aren't just for budgeting and expense tracking. They offer investment options like stocks and crypto. You can not only track your spending, but you can also make some extra cash on the side. The rise of personal finance apps also means more control over your finances. You can make informed decisions about your money and take action quickly if needed. It's like having a financial advisor in your pocket, minus the awkward small talk. So what are you waiting for if you haven't already jumped on the personal finance app bandwagon? Take control of your finances and join the rest of us in the digital age. Your wallet and possibly your bank account will thank you. Number 3. More people get their money professionally managed. Have you heard of the new money manager taking the financial world by storm? It's called RIA, and it's not just a fancy acronym for a robot in disguise. A registered investment advisor is a company that specializes in financial advice and investment management and the Securities and Exchange Commission regulates it. And let me tell you, compared to typical broker-dealers, RIAs are like the Batman of money managers. Why, you ask? They have what's called a fiduciary duty to their clients. That means they must put their clients' interests before their own when making financial decisions. No more worrying about whether your money manager is secretly working for the Joker, right? This high-touch, client-focused approach is gaining traction in the U.S., and for good reason. At the end of 2020, RIAs managed a whopping $110 trillion for over 60 million clients nationwide. That's like having an army of financial advisors at your disposal. To put that in perspective, that's $90 trillion more dollars than the collective amount of my student loans. And that's just the beginning. At the start of the century, RIAs only managed about $20 trillion. So they're quickly becoming the go-to choice for people looking to manage their money and make their wallets a little happier. So if you're looking for a money manager with your back like Batman, you should try RIA. Your bank account will thank you. Number 4. Banks Further Embrace the Cloud 
sky's the limit. Well, it looks like banks have finally found their silver lining in the pandemic cloud. Before COVID-19 hit, they were already dipping their toes into the cloud pool. But let's face it, the pandemic turned up the heat and made them jump in with both feet. Who wants to touch money or go to a physical bank when you can click a button on your phone? We finally entered the future that sci-fi movies have promised us for years. The cloud is the way to go if you want to scale up quickly and keep up with the demand for digital services. And let me tell you, the demand is higher than for a vaccine at a Justin Bieber concert. According to a market research company, IDC, global cloud service spending will be over $1.3 trillion by 2025. That's like a lot of zeros. And you better believe banks and credit unions want a piece of that pie. Big players like J.P. Morgan Chase and Arvis Bank have already converted part of their systems to cloud-native platform. And industry experts like Jim Maroos of the financial brand think cloud banking is the future. Even IBM and Microsoft have developed cloud solutions specifically for the financial industry. But it's not just about jumping on the cloud bandwagon. Updating their applications to function in the cloud is how banking companies adapt to the new normal in 2021, according to GenPact. So there you have it, folks. The cloud is the new cool kid on the block, and banks are finally catching on. Number 5. Loyalty Programs Drive Repeat Business Loyalty Programs Remember when you used to get those little punch cards from your favorite coffee shop and you'd get a free drink after buying 10? Good times, good times. But loyalty programs are spreading like wildfire, even in the financial world. Everyone's jumping on the loyalty bandwagon. But it used to be just for retail and food. Now even banks are getting in on the action. It's like they're trying to bribe us to stay with them. A recent survey shows customers are all about those rewards and loyalty points. They say, hey, if you give me some points, I'll give you some loyalty. And who wouldn't want to sign up for a premium loyalty program offered by their favorite brand? I mean, sign me up. And get this, repeat customers spend at least 33% more than new customers. So the more loyalty points you rack up, the more money you'll spend. It's a win-win situation. And it's not just the millennials who are into loyalty programs. Even the baby boomers are on board. Who doesn't love getting rewarded for just engaging with their favorite brand? It's like being a kid again, getting a gold star for just attending class. So loyalty programs are here to stay whether it's a free cup of coffee or a cashback reward. The financial world has finally caught on to the fact that everyone loves a good bribe. Keep the rewards coming and we'll keep coming back for more. Number six, more non-tech people get into crypto. The crypto market's still making waves as of November, 2021. Total market capitalization hit a whopping $2.79 trillion. That's a lot of zeros, folks and traditional investors have finally woken up from their slumber and are taking a keen interest in crypto. Seven out of 10 of them are planning to take the plunge shortly. It's like they say, better late than never. But it's not just the traditional investors who are joining the party. Venture capitalist firms spent over $27 billion on crypto in 2021, almost five times more than they spent the previous year. The saying, follow the money, really holds in the investment world. And just when you thought crypto couldn't get any bigger, U.S. President Joe Biden signed a bill that requires all crypto exchanges to be reported to the IRS. That's some serious oversight. But if crypto wasn't poised to become even more popular, they wouldn't need to keep an eye on it, right? But don't worry. If you're not ready to take the plunge and buy crypto, there's still a way to invest in it. The first Bitcoin ETF hit the New York Stock Exchange in October allowing traders to invest in companies with a financial stake in crypto. It's like a game of crypto telephone, but with a middleman. And the interest in crypto isn't just limited to the private sector. The El Salvador government now demands that all local merchants accept Bitcoin as legal tender. That's some severe crypto love right there. And other Central American countries are following suit, with Honduras and Guatemala looking into central bank digital currencies. Number 7. Banking industry begins to see AI-driven cost savings. Hold on to your wallets, folks, because the banking industry is about to get a severe dose of AI. According to Allied Market Research, the market for AI and banking will be worth a staggering $64 billion by 2030, with a CAGR of 32% from 2021 to 2030. 
that's a lot of zeros. And the financial institutions are on board with the AI takeover. OpenText reports that a whopping 80% of them know the benefits AI can bring to their organization. Over 60% believe AI will be mainstream in the industry within two years. We'll all be living in an AI world sooner than we thought. But it's not just talk. About 45% of the institutions surveyed have already adopted AI technology. And the potential to decrease operating costs by 22% by 2030 is equivalent to a mind-boggling $1 trillion in savings. Who knew that robots could be so financially savvy? So where exactly can AI help the banking industry? According to Insider Intelligence, there are three main areas. Conversational banking and interacting with customers, detecting fraud and managing other risks, underwriting. That's right, folks. Even the robots will be able to detect when someone's trying to pull a fast one on the banks. And let's not forget the potential savings just from automating middle office tasks. North American banks could save a cool $70 billion by 2025. That's enough money to buy your private island and hire a team of robots to run it for you. Okay, maybe not, but you get the picture. The future of banking looks pretty futuristic. Thanks for watching our video. If you found this YouTube video interesting and you want to see more, please leave us a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Click the bell icon below to be notified periodically or whenever we upload one. Up to you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the following video.